Good morning and welcome to the CDS AM debrief. It's Thursday the 15th of July 2010. I'm David Kern. It's uh, just after 8am here in our Sydney office. Uh, overnight in the US, the Dow components managed to just extend their recent gains. That now makes uh, seven up sessions. Um, however, the, uh, the background continues to contain uh, some fairly disconcerting uh, news, so I uh, have to be uh, mindful of that with any, uh, any sort of positions we want to look at right here, I suspect. Uh, certainly locally, we've now had five out of the last seven sessions that have been up, and uh, if we move over here to take a look at our ASX S&P 200 index chart, we see that we have now moved up to around this uh, 4450 level, shy of our uh, next uh, likely level of resistance of 4600. So it's about 150 points away. <clears throat> I'm inclined to think after these very solid gains that we had in recent sessions that we might, might expect to see a bit of uh, consolidation or, uh, or work around this, uh, around this level before we contemplate any sort of a move up to uh, up to 4600 here. Um, I guess we'll just have to uh, have to wait and see. We are of course uh, coming towards the closing sessions of the week so I'd expect some, uh, some profit taking and some uh, risk reduction going into the weekend. Let's have a look at some of the other data now in terms of global indices and look at just how the US markets did close. So we can see that the, the Dow was up 3.7 points or just uh, 0.04 of a percent which uh, clearly uh, is up but uh, obviously a fairly insignificant move there. But uh, the, the bulls are claiming a victory here so uh, we'll, we'll let them cheer. Uh, S&P 500 didn't fare quite so well down 0.17 and the NASDAQ up 7.81 uh, a lot of that was uh, the result of the uh, Intel uh, reporting, which was a very strong data there. And the Russell 2000 down 2.66 points. Move over and have a look at Europe now. With uh, only one, uh, one green set of numbers here, which was the DAX up 18.63. FTSE down 17.5, CAC down 4.78 points, and the Dow Jones Stock 600 down just 0 0.07 of a point. Move over now and have a quick run through on what's happened in the commodities area with uh, West, West Texas crude at 77.04 or down 11 cents. Our coffee was at 164. 0.9 cents, corn at 376 and a quarter cents, up nine and a quarter, cotton at 73.35, which was down 1.3, oats at 265 and a half, which was up six and a half, rough price nine dollars 82, which is down uh, four cents, soy 962 up five, uh, sorry up seven and a half. Sugar, $16.97, down 0.2, and wheat at 559, which was up 9 and 3 quarters of a cent. Wool, 951, up 14. Copper's now trading at $2.99 and a sixth, which is down 1 and a quarter cents. Gold's at twelve hundred and nine, up six and a half dollars, and silver at eighteen dollars thirty one is down point zero two. Move over, over now to have a look at our currency pairs. US dollars buying seven dollars seventy seven zero five Hong Kong, one point zero three two six Canadian, one point zero five one six Swiss francs, sixty five and a half pence. 88.265 yen, 
and the euro is buying 1.2741 euro, uh, sorry, US dollars, as is the Australian dollar buying 88.27 US cents. Take a look now at our economic calendar. We've got quite a bit of news that's uh, rated as uh, highly significant, firstly with the US uh, Fed meeting, and uh, that data should be out, uh, out pretty soon, in fact. Uh, then we've got the Bank of Japan rate decision, and that's expected to remain unchanged at just 0.1%. Uh, later on this morning, we've got the consumer inflation expectation for, Ju for July. Uh, and then out of the States, around noon our time, we've got China real gross domestic product, year on year and month on month, and consumer price index. Uh, Euro Central Bank publishes the July monthly report, Swiss survey expectations for July, and then out of the States this evening, producer price index, month on month on year on year, and producer price excluding food and energy, month on month and year on year. That uh, concludes the uh, economic data to our this evening. Let's take a look back here at a couple of the other charts here with the Australian dollar. We've got this on an hourly chart. You can see we seem to be taking these, uh, these steps up. And that's uh, fairly characteristic of the uh, old Aussie battler taking uh, taking the staircase up and uh, coming down in the elevator. So we've had this uh, floor here, touch down here at 87 cents three times now. And to the high side we've got the level near 88. And now we seem to be stepping up onto that. So quite a constructive pattern. Um, I would have thought that buying back on dips to 88 with the stop loss underneath uh, or in the uh, in the high 87s would be a relatively low risk trade and uh, we could um, we could potentially give that, that a go. Uh, not too much else to look at that comes to mind right now so um, we we'll keep this one fairly short and wrap that up for this uh, this Thursday. Thanks as always for your attention and uh, we'll speak again. Bye-bye.